welcome back to another festive vlog from us. It's been such a fast and rainy December where we live. Just today we played catch up on shopping for decorations and gifts. Our first stop was HomeSense, which is my favorite home store in the world. To me, like unique decorations here. This is really cute. I don't know if I like the colors though. We're hosting Christmas this year in our new house that we moved into earlier this year. So decorating is a must and we're having fun with it. Our big girl is three now, so she is way more excited about Christmas than ever before. And it's just the most adorable thing to see. So our next stop was the range and there were so many goodies to choose from in the shop. I just love how color coordinated they were. Just glorious. We're going for olive greens and silver tones this Christmas. After all that hard work, we went to Starbucks and I literally could not see the menu without zooming in like this. Final stop was next and do not sleep on next during the Christmas period. They had so many lovely things for kids. However, the things that we wanted were out of stock. So that was a bit frustrating. Yeah, they? Yeah, they haven't got a size. Oh dear. Yeah, I think they've been popular. These are my favorite shoes, but of course, there's no sizes for little ones. They have an 11, but yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for them in other necks. But how cute, they look so like Nordic. In my opinion, next is the only shop in the world where the boys clothes are actually better than the girls. <laughs> This is £34. Pounds. So we had a nosy through the aisles and ended up in the home section. You already know I went to the home section and there was this adorable little mug there. I loved it. I didn't get it, so I held back for my own pulses, but someone needs to get it so I can live through you. Mums and dads, it's really the season of your kid coming home with glitter all over them and pain and so many things. I literally just came back from picking up Zion and I don't even know what they were up to today, but he's got like green paint on his leg, got a bit of glitter on his face, food, all the things. So nursery or daycare, if you're in America, is interesting. I don't even know. I want to be a fly on the wall to see what the kids get up to and how they get themselves so messy. But anyway, he's off to take a nap now and so is Zoe. And then we're going to give them a bath in the evening. This is kind of like the couple of hours we get to do our own thing. And one of the things we need to do is actually finally decorate. You might see behind me, we've got like a few little decorations going on. I've got like this Christmas pillow from H&M and um, it's just got like joyful, wonderful Christmas on it. And it's really cute. And then we've got like this um, potted Christmas tree. You know what, this is actually artificial. It's not real. And I was so shocked because like it looks so real and I love it. I'm, I'm more for getting like artificial plants nowadays because at least we can keep them year on year. So yeah, we've got the um, Christmas tree going on. I'd love to get like a bit of like lights around that and some baubles. So yeah, we need to do some decorating while the kids are napping. So that's what's on the agenda. Um, but it's been really difficult to like get time to like edit and just sort out all of our vlogmas content, even though we've been getting like content and clips all year round so what we would want to do is make it less time so like a couple of days of vlogmas but make it as much quality as possible just so you can see like the story of like our christmas period but also there's been a few gaps this year so just filling those up so yeah anyway I need to get on with getting a few things from the shop for one of our YouTube videos. So it is relevant, all of that spiel. Um, and then, yeah, then we can just get on with things from there. So I thought before I move on and get cracking with the decorating and all of the things that we have to do this afternoon, I'll show you my outfit of the day. Um, so I am wearing AJ's jumper. Wow, is that a new jumper? Yeah, I just bought it from the shop. Do you like Guys, let me not lie to you, it's actually so hard getting things done in just two hours, but we've had to learn how to work efficiently, effectively, all the ease, um, because it's just what we have to do. This season of life can be pretty tough, especially being young parents and like wanting to still like build for our family and our children whilst um, being like attentive parents as well. We try not to get too much like work things come in the way when we're looking after the kids but it does mean that as soon as they go down for a nap which is like only once now for the both of them um it has to be so so quick otherwise like we've gone through the whole day and we've not been like productive in the sense of like earning money and like you know doing things 
for ourselves. I mean, I'm so grateful that we can both work from home and um, that work is a super flexible thing now. Like that's something to be so grateful for because I mean, if we were had to like go into like the office, for example, it would be such a myth um, to do, especially like with the kids being so young. But also I think anything else, um, like still working from home is really demanding because there is that pressure of like if we don't get things done then we literally like haven't earned that kind of thing and it's really hard to yeah to just balance so if your parents are trying to like navigate working and looking after your little family we totally feel you on that like it can get really really tough in the streets in this economy like it's really hard it's really strange to me actually that life and having kids just doesn't melt together like it's almost like having kids conflicts with work and other relationships and so many other things um yeah which is really tricky at times it's really tricky to like be uh like your whole self and like a full adult um whilst raising a family so yeah it's hard but we can do it we can do it all the goodies have been got as you can see and i am on my way back home on my way back to the hizay um so then we can film our challenge and i'm actually really looking forward to it because aj is going to absolutely cringe because he hates eating like weird food and it's going to be fantastic <laughs> it's been a while since we just like sat and just had a chat right so um we are in a season where we're just so busy like a lot is going on and um it's really full-on mainly because of the kids of course but also um work-wise we've had like loads of um changes 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 and i hope we'll be able to film like a whole video just about like the amount that's changed in the last couple of months i would hate for you guys to think that we like ghost youtube it's been really really hard to keep up with um the content that we want to create on YouTube and um, the amount of time that it takes to edit and film videos and all of that good stuff it's like kind of like a world apart away from um, Instagram and TikTok where we can quickly film something edit it and then literally get out in the same half hour um, and that's the kind of life that we're living we're living half hour loads of half hours kind of life <laughs> um so that's what's made it tricky but really youtube is where our heart is so really looking forward to just pouring in and make like being extra intentional about being present um on the platform and just you know like th this is where i feel like our creativity is the most challenged and um i think that should be like so good for us in this next season but um in the retreat that we went to a few days ago we just came back actually from that retreat and um one of the main things that was said or something that really stood out to me i should say there was like a there was like a session about leadership and um and there was a line that was said which was darkness thrives where light doesn't show up and i was like oh my goodness that's so true like it doesn't take like light to not exist but if light doesn't show up then it's dark um and it got me thinking about like our presence online especially as like a christian couple oh my gosh sorry this dinging noise has been going on the entire way um it's so important that we're present here and show you especially like the christmas season it's one of the most important um times of the year for us in our faith and it's really important that we show up and also like just pouring in some light where like for example our funny content is all about like just enjoying life and laughter and you know life can be so serious sometimes and i mean there's so many dark things going on in the world and it can feel like really heartbreaking and burdensome um but would love to like show up and be present to say that you know like you can still like laugh and enjoy moments with like your family or loved ones even though like you're working some things out so i hope that's what you guys get from this page and yeah looking forward to like showing up a bit more and maybe it's an encouragement to you whatever arena of life that you need to show up and like you know where you could like um be doing more and just using your skills and the talents that you've been given and to just do it it's not like stretch yourself thin but if it gives you life then just do it and if it's good for others as well like definitely do it so today is car day today is car day we just had breakfast it was a lot bread and egg if you know you know we've got um our ds7 well it's not ours we're actually loading it for a small period of time so thank you ds 
team. <laughs> so yeah, it's really exciting because we've got a few like Christmas activities going on. So it's perfect to have a vehicle that we can use. So yeah, let's go out and show you. I think it's actually here now. So we opened the door and Zoe was like, hello, uncle. So she's like really the furthest thing from, from shy. Oh. Yeah, this is where the kids love to sit and watch all the cars go past. You like watching cars here, don't you, Zoe? Almost done. And that's a car we're loaning. It's a car we're going to have. I feel like it's giving like luxury vibes. It's giving executive car. I'm looking forward to like our adventures in it. We will have... I didn't need to put the car seats in the back, but that's still giving luxury if you wanted to. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free.